crowd, huh? How about who, those two games today, huh? What do you say? Thank you. A couple of W's for the Mount. Welcome to the Mount. It's just great to see everybody. We're talking about family, friends, mainly Mount alumni, and that's what's brought us all back together. Thank you, Lynn. Um, as you may know, my name is Victoria Shaw. I'm a junior on the women's swim team, and I would just like to say welcome to family, friends, and 40 truly amazing women who are gracing our presence once again on Mount St. Mary's campus this afternoon. You know, a lot of things that I've accomplished at the Mount, the greatest opportunity I've ever had is being a student athlete. It has been the greatest and most rewarding decision that I've ever made. Over the past three years, I have made lifelong friends. I have succeeded. I've failed. I've learned self-respect and discipline through gruesome practices, competitions, and daily life of being a student athlete. You know, in my opinion, this is what makes sports so great, because anything can happen on any given day as long as you have faith that grows and supporting teammates with their eyes on the prize, just like you do. On behalf of all of the women student athletes here at the Mount, I want to personally thank all, all of you 40 women for laying down the groundwork for all of us here today. Through all of your hard work, determination, successes, and supporting teammates, all of us here now have the opportunity to compete at the collegiate level of athletics and wear our blue, white, and made in Vegas gold with pride. Thank you for having the desire to succeed, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to succeed. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy your trip down memory lane today here at your alma mater. We're all truly excited to have you here back at the Mount. And thank you all for being true role models for your younger fellow Mountaineers. Go Mount. Like I said, this is a better crowd than we could ever have anticipated. What was the genesis of this event? Well, as, as those who, alumni know, it was the combination of 40 years of the Mount being co-ed and 40 years of Title IX. So we said this is the time to celebrate 40 years of Mount women in athletics. So we thought it was a great combination. But I, I did want to read to you, I, I had a very nice email from Laura McGinley, who's class of 94. And she wrote, she wrote me this note, and I thought it was really nice. I wanted, just want to read to, to all of you. It said, Dear, dear Miss Robinson, <laughs> I am truly sorry I am unable to attend the celebration. Title IX gave me a chance to go to Mount St. Mary's, for which I am forever grateful. Title IX changed the world. It opened eyes. Here's what I posted on the MSM Women in Sports Facebook page. Title IX enabled us to see what is, what could be, and what can be. Strength in humility, and humility in strength. After all, look at the numeral, 1X, the one next to the cross, the woman standing next to the Savior. I can't help but smile, thinking of Our Lady, that she must have had a hand in passing Title IX. Sincerely, Laura McKinley. Pleasure to introduce Fran O'Brien. Thank you. It's great to see everyone here tonight, and thank you, Lynn, or as we used to call her, the Jet. But for a number of reasons, I decided to come here, and the largest and the most uh, primary reason was because we had just gone co-ed, and I saw an opportunity for me to play sports. And little did I know when I made that decision that I would not only play basketball, but I played field hockey, I ran some track and field events, I played softball, and had a very disastrous attempt at tennis. We have the sense of community that we all shared, the pride we had representing our school, the recognition of the good fortune that we've had to compete at the level that we're able to. And whether we were the first class of women to play at the Mount or the most recent class, we all understand that we owe a debt of gratitude to those who blazed the trail that enabled us to live this dream. Now, I'm a firm believer that one's involvement in athletics is preparation for life. Hard work, dedication, discipline, teamwork, passion, 
fortitude, the list goes on. The ability to dribble a basketball, to take a free kick, or to have a blazing backhand shot, they're not necessarily going to get you into the door for the interview for your dream job, or get you into Harvard Law School, or into medical school. But I do believe that what you bring to the table, those qualities that contributed to your successes in your sport, they're harbingers of success for you beyond college athletics. So our next speaker, you saw her honored here earlier tonight, the first, a, uh, our first female former student athlete inducted into the Northeast Conference Hall of Fame that has only been around for three years. So the first year we had uh, Coach Fallon and Peter Rona, Olympic gold medalist inducted. Vanessa's our first female inductee. And how this all came about is pretty incredible. Vanessa and I have written about this and talked about this the past four or five weeks. The fact that Vanessa is a head women's basketball coach. The fact that she didn't have a game today is unbelievable. The fact that the NEC that happened to choose this date as our TV game and to do her induction, the fact that we happened to have all this, trust me, it was not all planned. It was all karma. So it is my pleasure to introduce the newest inductee into the Northeast Conference Hall of Fame, multiple Hall, Hall of Fames that she's already in, one of the all-time greats in Mount History, former uh, great player, our former head coach, welcome Vanessa Blair. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Thank you. It's um, great to be home. And I think a lot of us have those same sentiments. Some of the best players and teammates I've ever played with are back. Uh, it was just great seeing everybody. I would be remiss to, before I begin, to not thank this incredible group of family that has shown up for me and friends. Can you all please stand? Get off the phone. I want to thank uh, the late Bill Sheehan, my coach, who gave me an opportunity to be here. Uh, without him, I would have never been recruited here. I would have never known anything about Mount St. Mary's, and his entire family were our family while we were here, and he is really the direct result of a lot of these young women that played basketball. They were recruited by him, and you know we were friends of friends that played for him, and I just wanted to thank him so much and his family. But Candy Cage was his assistant coach who was responsible for a lot, recruiting a lot of us. And if she would please stand again, I just really want to thank Candy. She, she was a great, great coach, but as I grew, an even better friend. And Candy, thank you so much for believing in me while I was here. My experiences at the Mount were unbelievable. They had nothing to do with wins and losses but they had everything to do with the human touch that brought these great young women together. And now we're going to introduce someone who graduated in the 2000s. How about that? This next young lady, stand out in the soccer field for four years, had a, a fascinating career with the, in, in marketing with the Philadelphia Eagles, and now she's with a, a, a new a sports marketing firm, a real credit uh, to, 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 to the Mount, and a wonderful former student athlete. I'd like to introduce to you Katie Holla Hollahan Zakin. She's expecting her first child. <laughs> Katie. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. And Vanessa, congratulations on all your accomplishments. What a tough act to follow. <laughs> this weekend is highlighting two things in my life that I feel have truly shaped me. Mount St. Mary's and sports. The Mount was a place where I not only received an amazing education, but also so much more than that. Soccer for me shaped me in so many ways. Being a student athlete helped, helped open up many doors and, and help, in my opinion, helped me get a great job in the NFL at a very young age. Teamwork, leadership, determination, commitment, time management, discipline. I could go on. These qualities are those of which you can apply not only on the field, on the track, on the court, and so forth, but in so many other aspects of life. So when I got the, the amazing job opportunity, I never forgot the reason why I felt that I got the job. 
It was because of all those qualities I learned from sp playing sports my entire life and being a soccer player, but also paired with an amazing education at a place that is truly special and one of a kind.